Hello, everyone. Welcome to Vantage with AI. Today, I'm introducing you to a new version of Lucy Edit, Lucy Edit 1.1. And trust me, this one's exciting. Lucy Edit 1.1 lets you edit videos just by describing what you want. Want to change someone's outfit? Add an object? Improve lighting? Transform a whole scene? Just type your idea, and Lucy does the rest. The best part? It works fast and doesn't need a powerful high VRAM GPU. Even on a modest setup, it still gives you clean, smooth, high-quality edits. In this video, I'll show you what Lucy Edit 1.1 can do and how you can start using it right away. Let's jump in. Now let's quickly go over the models you'll need to run this workflow. First, download the Lucy Edit 1.1 model in .safe tensors format. If you're working with very low VRAM, you can switch to the GGUF version instead. When using GGUF, turn on the UNET loader node, connect its output to the LoRa loader, and disable the diffusion loader node. Next, you'll need the WAN 2.25B Fast WAN Full Attention LoRa. With this LoRa, you can bring the sampling steps down to just 8 steps, instead of the usual 20 to 30. After that, grab the UMT XXL Clip Text Encoder. This handles your text prompts and helps Lucy understand exactly what you want. And finally, for the VAE, you'll need the WAN 2.2 VAE, which takes care of decoding the video frames cleanly. All the download links for these models are included directly inside the workflow and also listed in the video description below, so you can grab everything you need with ease. And of course, if you're enjoying videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss future updates. Now that we've covered the models, let's take a quick walk through the main sections of this workflow so you know exactly what each part does before we start running it. We begin with the models group. This is where all the essential components come together. The main model, the LoRa's, the VAE, and the text encoders, everything the workflow depends on gets loaded right here. Next is the inputs group. Here you can set your frame rate, total frame count, width and height of the output, and load the video you want to edit. Then we have the prompts group. This is where you type in your main prompt. And finally, we reach the sampling group. This is where all the real processing happens, sampling, denoising, and generating the final edited video. All right, now that the workflow is set up, let's quickly go over the tests we'll be performing with Lucy Edit 1.1. First test, change an article of clothing. Second test, change the complete outfit. Third test, replace a character in the scene. Fourth test, replace an object in the scene. Fifth test, add an object to the scene. For our first test, we'll be using this video of a woman walking on the street while sipping her drink. In this test, we're going to change just one piece of her clothing, her overcoat. To do that, we'll use this simple prompt. Let's run it. The results came in fast, and honestly, they look pretty good. Now, even though our prompt only asked to change the color and material, Lucy didn't just recolor the jacket, it actually replaced it with a completely new one. But that's how this model works. When you describe a specific material or style, it often recreates the clothing item instead of just modifying the existing one. And in this case, the new jacket blends nicely with the scene, so the result isn't bad at all. In our next test, we're going to take things a step further by replacing the entire outfit. We'll be using the same video as before, but this time with this prompt. This is the result we got. It looks really good. Lucy followed the prompt instructions to a T. The black suit, white shirt, and red tie all came through clearly, and the outfit stays consistent across the entire clip. All right, for our next test, we're going to push things a little further and replace the main character entirely. We will be using this prompt... The results look good. Lucy cleanly replaced the woman with a 2D anime character while keeping the scene realistic. There's a slight distortion in the hand and cup toward the end, but running it without the fast one Laura and using around 20 steps with a CFG of 5 would likely fix that. For our next test, we're going to replace just a single object in the video. This time, we'll swap out the coffee cup in the character's hand and use the following prompt. It seems like Lucy Edit doesn't want our character getting fully drunk because instead of a wine bottle, it replaced the cup with a glass of wine. But honestly, the edit still looks pretty good. For our last test, we're going to add a brand new object into the scene. This time, we'll place something on the character rather than swapping anything out. We'll use this prompt. The results are not bad at all. The tiara sits perfectly on the head, exactly where it's supposed to be. The placement, alignment, and overall look blend nicely with the motion of the clip. A solid finish for our final test. 
And that wraps up our test with Lucy Edit 1.1. From changing clothing to swapping characters, replacing objects, and even adding brand new elements into the scene. This model handled everything surprisingly well, and it did it fast, even on low VRAM. If you found this walkthrough helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. And if you want me to test more models, share workflows, or try out specific prompts, drop your suggestions in the comments below. I'm always listening. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.